Hi everyone, and welcome to English 101. This is Sentenced, and this is our second out of four videos looking at the four types of sentences, the four functional types of sentences. And in this video, we will talk about imperative sentences. An imperative sentence, imperative is not a word that a lot of people hear, especially if you're coming into English uh, without a, a background in it. And an imperative is another word for a command. So if, if I am saying that it is, it is imperative that you get off of the train tracks before that train gets here in five seconds, that's, that's a command to move, although I've talked for more than five seconds, it's frankly too late for you now. So um, imperatives are basically directing someone to do something. So let's see what some of those look like. So here are a couple examples of imperative sentences. Watch, like, and subscribe. I know what you're gonna say if you've seen my video on sentence structure. There is no subject and there is no predicate in this sentence, and that's correct, but it's still a complete sentence. And in the next series where we talk about the seven structural types of sentences, we'll see why a type four sentence is an acceptable type of sentence. So trust me for right now, this is an actual sentence. Watch, like, and subscribe. Or, hey you, comma, watch, like, and subscribe. Or, dear viewer, comma, watch, like, and subscribe. You can see why, with some invisible words over here, it's actually a complete sentence. Here's the next one. Please move your car. You have parked on my foot. Said no one ever in that calm of a tone of voice when a car has been parked on their foot. But there it is, another imperative sentence. Both of these are actually imperative sentences. I am giving an imperative, a command, to watch, like, and subscribe. I am, or the speaker is, giving an imperative to please move your car, whoever's car it is, and a reason because it is parked on my foot. So an imperative sentence does one thing. It conveys a request or a command or a direction from one person, from the speaker, to another person, the recipient, or multiple people, in the, this first case, the recipient of that imperative command or direction, in this sense they're all synony uh, synonyms. That's what an imperative sentence does. So now I'm gonna write three sentences up here. One of them will be an imperative sentence, two of them will not be, and we'll take a look at which one is which and why. So here are three sample sentences that we can look at. One of these is an imperative sentence. The fact that we still go to war with each other is why aliens fly past us. Please pick up after your dog because dogs like coming around and knocking stuff off the table onto the floor, that's what they do. What type of sentence is this? Three types of sentences. So let's take a look at the last one since we just read it. What type of sentence is this? It ends in a question mark. Can a command or a directive be a question? I suppose maybe if someone's passive aggressive, it could be. But this is not giving a command or a directive. It's asking a question, it's seeking information, which means that it is in fact the type of sentence we're talking about next week. Let's go up to the top. I think you can see where this is headed. The fact that we still go to war with each other is why aliens fly past us. Is anyone being told to do anything in this sentence? No, the answer is no, we're not. This is a statement. This is a declarative sentence, the type of sentence that we looked at last week, which leaves us exactly one option. Please pick up after your dog. I really hate it when he throws the tiddlywinks on the floor because he hasn't gotten a treat yet. I just wanted to say tiddlywinks. It's a pretty great word. So this is an imperative sentence. It's giving a command, it's making a request. Please pick up after your dog. So if you've made it this far in the video, I'll tell you what, go down to the comment section and put an imperative sentence of your own into the comments. And if it is an imperative sentence, I'll let you know. And, I'll, uh, I'll, and if it's not, I'll explain why it isn't and help you along the way to figuring out what an imperative sentence is. So, so that's it for today's video on imperative sentences. We'll see you next week as we talk about the next type of sentence. This one right here. Just remember, if you take care of the sentence, the sentence will take care of you.